What's going on y'all? It is a fine, fine day in the Lobach house. What are we looking at there? Well that would be a little combination of about 10 pounds of sugar, about 3 tablespoons of yeast, about 4.5 gallons of water that's been sitting for a week. What the hell are we going to do with that? Well, let's look what Santa brought. He was a little late, but for Christmas, it's an electric still. Okay, as the water box, as the water box says, or as the box said, <laughs> it is a water purifier. What this does is, uh, let me get the camera set here so that you guys can kind of see a little bit better, and I'll kind of go through it. All right, well, it's electric, plugs in, top comes off, like so. And you can see it's uh, stainless steel inside. Up inside here, you got all your cooling coils. Just like a regular still, water purifier. Um, that's gonna work and come out. It's got a little nozzle. Um, didn't think it was gonna come with it. Um, and actually, I should point out right now, this was sent to me to review by uh, my buddy there, Ron Foster, author of Preference Road March Trilogy, um, author of uh, The Ranger's Handbook, I probably got the name of that one wrong, author of Driving Out of Disaster, and plenty of other books, I think close to 20 books. All of them can be found on my uh, um, YouTube pic, or uh, at lowbuckprepper.com. He's got a page dedicated right there, and it's got a bunch of his books, you just click on it. Takes you right to them. Uh, it doesn't cost you a dime more. All I had to do to assemble this is put the put the handle on it, and then put this little nozzle on there. And this is how simple it is. We are going to fill this up. Actually, you only want filled up to the full mark. <laughs> I didn't even notice that was in there. I had a glass to do this. With. There it is. And see if we can do this without making too much of a mess. Now I didn't uh, test this because I don't have a low range uh, hydrometer. My hydrometer is for the uh, upper ranges which is what we want. And basically what uh, we're going to do this time is we're going to make some heavy duty 180, hopefully 190 proof so that I can uh, try old uh, Mr. Indy Cooey's Murr make some of my own all from scratch minus the myrrh which I bought through Amazon um, and I got uh, I think a pound of it um, so I'll have to get with them and find out a little bit more instructions as far as how much I should use for how much I'm making alright right there we're at the full mark now from what I understand on this um, it is going to take approximately three hours Three hours, twenty minutes. Here's a cool part. I'm not sure if you can see. This is designed so that the lip fits right under where it comes out, so you can't lose it. And I think this is four quarts here. From that batch, I should get about a quart. I think um, I've never used it yet, so uh, we're gonna give it a shot. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, shut the camera off right now. While we let this go on. I'll show you the process of me making that uh, wash. All right? This is a wash because it's the most basic, simplest way of uh, making uh, a high dollar or a high uh, yield alcohol, from my understanding. Um, so, uh, well, I'll be back. <laughs> See, I'm, I haven't even had two sips out of my first drink from home. My first drink getting home from work because I was excited to play with this thing. So it's gonna take me a drink or two to get my voice in line. <laughs> so we'll be back. Okay, I wanted to show you guys this. Right now we've got only about that much in there. And you can see it's dripping pretty pretty fast there. But right now we're at about 110 proof. Now as this goes, the uh, alcohol content will reduce, and we're going to want to stop it when we hit probably about 80 proof. 
Um, so it takes a little bit of you know monitoring to a point, but once you've done this a few times and you time it, keep a log, um, and you'll be able to uh, know you know be able to set your timer and just leave it on for that long and you'll be good to go. So I'll bring it back on here in a bit. I'm gonna dump that back in there and uh, we'll let her go. Isn't that a beautiful sight? <laughs> 